Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to try and keep this short. I did um, try and do it earlier, which is why everything's kind of up there. I'm just gonna now transition this way into bags, um, but I'm just having a lot of spasms and I talk too much because I went off on a side tangent because y'all know I do that. Um, I am on pain meds, so just so you know. Okay, this weighs a lot but I found the jacket first and I was just like mm, I don't know I was fighting with it I'm like it's great quality but it weighs so much I don't know if it's gonna sell good it is a custom made Monet um, custom tailors from Hong Kong when and it actually shows that it was a British colony before it was returned to China and they're fighting that now but i had to get it once i found the skirt that's right it has a skirt so gorgeous i love on the kick plate back here it has like a little flap so even when that's open you're not seeing through it does have like a little thing on here for the name order number and date but that didn't get filled in which is kind of sad um, it is black, white, and kind of like a tan that's mixed into it. It's not a lot of the tan because it's just kind of like lines of that mixed into the white and black. So this is a custom one, so I will have to be putting sizes, like measurements up for that. Um, these are Brooks Brothers. 346 100% wool career pant for men and that was a size let's see what size it was right. I don't know right now what size these are probably like a 38 so I have to do the measurements on this yeah maybe a 36 Okay, so we'll get measurements on that. 100% um, linen is my guess. And it is 100% linen. This is a size 10 Donna Karen. Work. Gorgeous tan linen pant. Straight leg. Um, front pockets. No pocket back. Really gorgeous tailoring. This is a heavy linen really great um because it's heavy i mean linen's gonna wrinkle it's supposed to but when it's this heavy it doesn't do it a lot so i'm gonna steam that up and i don't know why anybody <laughs> this was just sitting there um on a bin that everybody had gone through when we got in neiman marcus cashmere size medium 100 percent cashmere gorgeous little cashmere sweater And we have um, wool rich, 100% cotton. I think it's 1X. Yeah, extra large. And I'll slide slits. Super cute. This is also silk. Petite, sophisticate. And it is a size small, 100% silk. And look at this pretty embroidery. And this is embroidery on it, although it's raised enough that it almost looks like it's a patch. But then you can see on the inside that it was actually embroidered on the silk. And there are antique perfume bottles with like a ribbons connecting them. So pretty. Okay, so this is a boy Vanderbilt new tag, size 24W. It's the Jordan Cut Capri Mid Rise. Look at the slit. Love attention to details. It's got a little embroidery there. And then on your fifth pocket up here, it's got little silver 3D dots. Love that. So new attack, Warrior Vanderbilt, size 24W. Capris. Then we have, this is also 100% silk, so you know I got it. And it is Anna and Frank, which I don't know anything about, but... Guys, can you say details? Attention to details. 
look at that the trim around the collar it's trimmed on the pocket and it's got three quarter sleeves with the trim around the sleeve and then it's got the little V opening <gasps> love this this is super high quality I mean it almost feels um, it's it's still light it's still silk light but it's almost got a little bit of extra weight to it um, so this is I also got one of these kinds of shirts in my 200 pound boxes, my four boxes for the 200 pounds. And it's actually supposed to be wrinkly like this. And this one actually, the wrinkle makes it flare. So it's actually the same size, but it looks like it's tulip because of the way. So this was actually held with a rubber band and then they're kind of where they want it to bend in, they put like a rubber band or something. And then you're basically fan folding your item. So it gives it that cool look. And these have a visible seam. Supposed to be there. And this is Belva, San Francisco. Uh, I love the back is the collar is stand up in the back and then you got a drop down V to the button front and then again the way it's they left the bottom part unfolded so you got like a little bit of a flare nice little dark trim on the, the home and back so gorgeous 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 when you get these shirts, you want to make sure that when you clean them, that you're going back and you're, you know, if you want to keep the cool look, you want to do the folds, wrap them up in a twist, and that's going to keep it this cool texture. And I have another one, like I said, in one of my things, and that one's new with tags, and it has that little thing about twisting it. Okay, so I have a couple of these. Ann Taylor, I think this bag only had two, but I have some more downstairs. Ann Taylor, size medium. Cute little cotton. I'm pretty sure it's cotton. Yeah, 50, 30% cotton, 40% rayon, 7% nylon. Little office sweater. This I originally got for my tie-dye stuff. But it is really cute, as is. Little white cotton thing. I don't think it has a brand. And that's why I was going to do it as a tie-dye, because it's not branded. But it is really cute, plain white. There's no stains on it. So I may list it as is. And if it's not sold by the time I tie-dye, I'll probably tie-dye it. So this is a gorgeous vintage suit skirt suit it is leslie fay um petite and it is an eight petite look at this gorgeous textured style i'm trying to make it do it to the light like a textured style floral pretty little this is so 80s and 90s button Cute. It's got like a like a floral and then little other stuff. So super cute, great tailored. I mean, this could be great for like a little informal wedding. You want a nice little cream suit or even like mother of the bride kind of thing at something that's not super formal. Leslie Faye, petite again, and it does have elastic as well as the zipper pocket on the bottom. Um, these aren't like super soft. These are Chico's Platinum, size zero, 72% cotton. And it's um, a really, really dark blue black. And it is, I'm gonna call this Clam Digger. I think it's a little bit longer than a capri and it's shorter than an ankle. So I'm going to call it clam digger. 
and got a nice little pocket on the back. These have never been washed, you can tell. They're just crisp, crisp, crisp. Um, so, there's those, Chico size zero, with the little snap pocket. Um, this is a Chan or Columbia. This is so cute. Little Columbia um, athletic top. I love the back straps. So cute. And it's a really nice turquoise. Um, and I like the this has like a wider band to help hold up the girls. Um, we have Nike, just do it. Starting to try and bring in my fall. Um, workout gear. There's some people are already starting to transition to cooler weather, I guess, um, in the evenings. Um, it's just getting hotter here. We don't start getting cool until middle of October about. Okay, so this is Poof. Not a big brand, but it was a cute, and it has the internal bralette, which I prefer those. And so I'm sure others do as well. Um, Calvin Klein jeans, size 34, nice black, very ugly jean, size 34. It's got a cute little print instead of an actual patch. So it's like it, it's seemed like it's on a patch, but it's just a printed. And then the pocket has just like this one little so it's like dark stitching across and then this one little line that's that orange so it's kind of cute 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 okay. lululemon this is actually the very first lululemon that i ever found um i had it in my room because it has like some lines on it and i thought it had been drawn on but then I actually saw a video where somebody said, no, that's like the fabric. And you can see here on the seam that it is something to do with the fabric. So it's actually supposed to be like that and have those little dark lines here and there. Um, it is, where's the logo? So like I said, it's Lululemon. Right there, you can see the boot. I don't know, can you even see it? Uh, do I have it inside out? I got it inside out. Lord help me, guys. Okay. So, there's that. And here is. Where did you go? There it is. Okay, so there's your little Lulu lemon thing. I don't know where to find the size dot on this because it doesn't have a bralette and it doesn't have pockets. It is the um, run swiftly style I found from looking at some of you guys' videos because it's got like the arch here. So that's a sign of the run swiftly as well as the thumb hole. So Lululemon run swiftly top, long sleeves. Um, this is DNKY jeans. I was going to actually bleach and tie dye this because there's some sunless tanner along the inside. But I think I may just um, use one of the trucks to get rid of the sunless tanner. Um, just because the last last um, jacket that I was going to tie dye, but I just threw it up to see. Um, it sold like right away. And it wasn't like a big brand. I think it was like actually a mall brand. And it sold for my ask. So I'm going to throw this up. I'm going to clean that. Um, so my tanner off. Throw this up. And like the other little white dress. If it doesn't sell by the time. I start tie dyeing. And bleach dyeing. Then I'll do that. So another little jean jacket. Trying to get these listed. Um, get ready for fall. This is a size small. It's 99% cotton, 1% spandex. And it's Lucky Brand Dungarees. Um, American Classic. Really cute. Pocket. Love the stitching. This has like this really cool V. It's like a giant V. And then you got the little slit style side pockets. 
and the back has another couple of the scenes. See, I like these scenes because that's like when I was in the army, I was a military police officer and we wore class B's and we would have to um, iron with, you always had to have one going across one seam and then it was like kind of like a, I don't know, it was like a ridiculous thing that we started doing where it was like how many seams can you put across the back. But I don't know, you were weird. And lucky brand on all the buttons. Alright, some black American Eagle Outfitters, 360 Super Stretch, um, Super Low Jegging, size 12, nice black, it's got the raw hem and distressed knees, it's really soft, it's really nice, and it is 48% cotton, 20% modal, 15% lyocell, 13% polyester, 4% lycra. So that's why they're so soft. It's a blend of that lyocell and viscose stuff always has like a really soft, kind of like, and some of it I think is made out of bamboo and usually the softest ones are the ones that are made out of bamboo. Okay, so this, I think this is actually reversible because even though it does have yes it's lululemon there we go and this is not from this ben's trip it's from a ben's trip earlier um but i love so you have this that goes around your neck and then you have at the bottom of the internal bralette you have two and then you have a crisscross to your dropped back love that drop back it's like really cute because it almost kind of cowls really nice and it's kind of like a waffle pattern there is one small I don't even know if that's a yeah that's just a piece of lint I thought it was a snag but it's not yeah great shape I love the bottom it's got all this nice pleating going around the bottom I like the way it's pleated in the back because it kind of gives you a little more booty. Kind of like situates the booty. So, love that. And I do, just because the way that it's seamed, it actually looks fine inside out. Well, no, I guess not. Okay, serge. Never mind. I thought it was reversible, but it's not. But it's super cute. And that's the second Lululemon I ever found at the bins. See, somebody put this back and I was like, eh, I did not. It's um, really crisp cotton, so it feels like it is new. Um, it's Stradivarius and it is a size small. But look how cute. It's just a little off the shoulder mini. I love the blues. All right, then a cubby. I think I got this on that Salvation Army though in one of my hauls. I just don't think I showed it. I may have already showed it. But it's a nice sheer nautical. So some of this is like just mixed all different places got because I have lost a purse that I sold. And I've been going through all of my bins trying to find it. So I've been pulling out stuff like this. It's the one, and as you see, these are sewn on. Dolce and Gabbana, the one perfume. So it's not a, trying to show like here, you can see it's sewn on. It's like a cloth sewn on patch. And then on the back you have hashtag DG, the one. Um, a little embroidered tag. This was surprisingly the comps on it are actually pretty high. Um, and it probably was a gift with purchase thing for that one, but it's really cute. And it doesn't look like it's even been washed or worn. Okay, so this is, uh, well maybe I should say the other, worn and washed, whatever. It's getting steamed. Um, so this is a Hollister size medium, and it's a really cute little sweater mini with the little 
it's like this is sort of ombre but like stuff like line stripe um great fall colors super cute it does it just has some piling so i'll get rid of that and it's a very interesting blend it is 38% nylon, 25% cotton, 17% viscose, 10% wool, 8% rabbit hair, and 1% elastine. So I think the softness of it is coming from the um, cotton and rabbit hair. Um, and then you've got the wool fill also. So if you've got enough wool in there that you have that wool texture. And I like the ribbing at the waist. Okay, we're at 20 minutes. I'm trying to do this fast. Okay, so this is Ruth Chagon from Delray Beach, Florida. So this is very much one of the Palm Beach ladies who launch. If you watch Real Housewives of New York or Real Housewives of Miami, they're probably wearing these um, super, super, 100% nice linen love you got the pockets or like the flap but these are not like wide they're deep so this would most I think you can kind of see where the pocket is right there so they're not very wide so you're probably not going to be able to fit your phone in there but that's okay because if you're wearing this you probably got you an Hermes or some other like fancy dancy purse. I love this. I have two silk dresses. Let me stand up for these. Give my back a little bit of a break. I'm sorry guys, I am like my med my pain meds are kicking in, which is helping a little with the pain, but I am like so whoa. Okay, Alex evenings size 10 it is 75 percent silk 25 percent rayon this is supposed to be a two-piece so i'm assuming it probably had like a little shrug that went with it but this is so 20s gatsby inspired so you've got the deep v the kind of straight down and then flare bottom it is a really sheer silk fabric over kind of like a um, I think it's polyester, but you know, just kind of the body con style and it's got the slit, but isn't this gorgeous? It's a lot like this, um, Gatsby inspired wedding dress. So we've got like a little flare. So I love that. And it's got little beads on it. You can see the beading up close. Okay. I'm trying to go fast here. I need Leah here to speed me up. So Casper, size 12. This is also a really nice linen career dress. Um, if you know anything about Casper, please let me know. I, I have like a couple amazing, awesome people who I'm going to um, put in the description that have been posting every all especially like on all of my um my four videos of the 200 pound haul from thread up they were posting information about the things that i found so oh my gosh guys i appreciate that so much y'all don't understand i've been homebound for nine years now yeah so like nine years um i don't get to go anywhere very much because of what I'm doing right now, which is having major spasms in my back and my neuropathy is off the charts, but I'm on pain meds. Um, so this is 70% silk. Oh, I already did this one. No, I didn't. This is the other one. Okay, so. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, freeze. Water. I'm not doing my water. Okay. Oh, this has got a tear in it. I just saw. That makes me very sad. So it's got a little tear right there. I'll try and darn that and then just note it. Because it's so pretty. Simply Silk. Also a nice Gatsby type inspired dress where you've got the v-neck. 
straight down into a little flare silk. Oh man, that sucks. Okay, so I'm gonna try and fix that. At least darn it a little. That is so sad. We'll fix that. Or, oh man, yeah, that would be kind of cool. If I can't fix that, I think I'm going to use the skirt portion of that with a jean. Like, that would be kind of cool. So, like, I have a lot of jeans that, like, have puckering in the crotch area. So, they were, like, it was, the puckering was too high to cut them off in the shorts. Um, but that would be cool. Because I was thinking about using the waistbands. Because some of them have really cool waistbands. Using the waistband with the bottom of the skirt that was messed up. And now we did. Okay, so this is new with tag. And I'm guessing the reason why nobody picked it is it's very heavy. Very, very heavy. This is black and white. It is mush, mushetta. You can probably read this a little bit better. And all of these styles of dresses and shirts I sell really quickly. That looks like it's like a little bracelet almost that's holding that on. And then you got a baggie of the sequins. Oh my gosh, it is really heavy, guys. I'm not kidding. But it's kind of like a layered. You can wear it as a tunic, as a top. You know, you could probably wear it as a dress if you're little. It is a size OS, one size, so three size. So it could be a tunic, it could be a dress, it could be a shirt. Super cute. Nice oversize. Oh, I like this. This sequence part. Okay. This is so cute. Darling, darling, darling. This is a mixed fiber made in England. And it can be either machine or hand washed. But look how cute. It's got little flowers in gold. So it's like, you could wear this as a holiday sweater. That's not like an ugly sweater, but because it's not like poinsettias, it can be worn anytime. So it's not just for the holidays. Oh my God. It is so soft, so, so soft and nice, heavy. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's nice. It might be the lambs or you know, Oh, it's got a Inspector 3, I guess. So it's mixed fiber. So my guess is probably going to be like cotton and something that's making it super soft. Maybe even some lamb's wool. But yes, I love that. And there's no stains on it or anything. Oh, wait, no, there was a stain. But it's something that I thought I could get out really easy. So let's see. Where's it at? There. I thought it was like on the button area. Okay, can you find it? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to look and figure out. Because I think that has a little stain on it. Um, this, my cousin found this. This is like one of the first things she found at the bin. So I was like so proud of her. She got a Christian Dior, guys. Nice Christian Dior sweatshirt. Um, it looks more straight blue on the video, like I'm seeing it. But in person, it's a really pretty, like, turquoise, ocean-y, like, Caribbean ocean style. Oh, Ginger. Ginger just posted a what's sold video so you guys go check them out um I forgot the name of their channel it's really cute it's a husband and wife team and they sell like they sell a lot of kid stuff they're on Kitizen, eBay, Poshmark and Macari so they do really good they they're really good for learning brands too so this is Tia from Pompano Beach, Florida. It is 100% cotton, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 100% cotton. It's definitely a, a vintage. Tia is ant in Spanish. And it's so cute. It's these little embroidered shoes. 
patches and then it's got the patch pockets little slit on the side this is such a cute little it's not really a caftan but it's a nice you know kind of like fancy house dress i have to make dion look at it because dion dean she can rock a house dress okay so size 14 edward um 55% linen, 45% rayon. Look at the little tag thing there. Um, I think this is new without tag. You can actually see like part of the plastic thing is still on there. Oh no, it is. There it is. The tag is on here. I knew this was new. Edward, size 14. It is style T83. 809M. It is 55% linen, 45% rayon, which I think I already said. And then look, it's got cute little kind of tulipy bottom with um, I'm sorry guys, I'm having like a really hard time right now. Um, uh, Swiss Swiss um, opening kind of things. Okay, I'm sorry guys. The pain kills are kicking in, which is good for the back some, but it's not so good for the brain. So I'm trying to do this fast. We're already at 31 minutes. Um, Auguste Mox a Woman, and it is a one axe, and this is heavy, super soft. Pretty sure it's cotton. Let me see. Um, yeah, so it is, uh, 55 acrylic, 45 cotton, so super soft, and you can tell these are hand, because they didn't trim it all the way, but you can see, like, where the, the end, that's the end of the knit, so that's just gotta be trimmed some, because it's kind of sticking out, because it's gorgeous. Auguste Woman, um, cashmere. This is Garnet Hill. It's an extra small cashmere little pullover. Super, super cute. Let's see. Uh, Macari is raising fees. Apparently, it's a alert that just came up. So, everybody check that out. That's selling on Macari. Um, English Rose, size small. Look how cute this is. Look at this. And then the little scallop and oh my gosh I could die I love this top it is so cute and it looks brand new too it was probably if it was worn it was probably dry clean is my guess um and it says hand wash I don't know if it's been washed um and it's polyester and look it's got the little scallop edging on the bit on the hem too. It, it's almost looking kind of crop toppy. Love these hounds too. These are Allen B by Allen Shorts and they are size 10. Got this little um, vegan leather trim on the rear and front pockets. This is everything. Guys, come on. Hounds tooth jeans. And it's a lightweight jean. Size 10. If you're size 10, you need to be trying to get those because those will go with everything. Um, I have three of these. It is size 4432. It's members mark, which I think might be Sam's Club. Um, but these are great work pants. I'm going to bundle. I have three of them that I'm going to bundle together because um, that's three is five pounds okay so cute hat i need to look up this brewery because it looks like it might be from auckland new zealand and it is cisco brewers i'm like it's got a little and this the base of it is like a like a sweatshirt They're super cute that might end up staying with me then this is actually from 2016 this is a champion for target for quarter two of 16. But it's like the little headband you wear to keep your ears warm. I love this. I have so many purses, guys, to list, but I love this. 
and I actually have to get a jeweler um, repair on it because somebody put this random thing hooking those together and all it needs is like a little jeweler's circle but okay so check the outside that gorgeous kind of texture that it's got and then the closure this little bug and you open it and then inside you have like your credit card area it does pull out so you can see it's it's clean inside. It was a little dusty. Um, it's, it's a nice firm bag. But then to close, you see you got like this little pen here. I'm trying to show it. A little pen and this has a hole. So you line that up. And put that through. Oh, come on. You can do it. There you go. So you put that through. And then you close your bag. Isn't that so cute? I think it's supposed to be a ladybug. So I need to repeat that and get that listed because that's adorable. Couple hats, Chicks Oyster Bar. Love it. And a Palm Beach Masters. And this is made in America. And this one is actually a New Era hat. And it's got the. Pretty sure that's vegan leather. Let's see if it tells me. Um. So the hat is cotton. Oh, P. So yeah, so it is um, vegan leather. Super cute. I found a Fendi bag that I can put my Fendi shoes in when I get those listed. Okay, here come the 80s, guys. Right in your face. Oh my God. Well, actually, let's... Oh, you know who probably wore this? Because I can see this on Delta Burke when she was in Designing Women. This is so... I forget what her name was on the show. But this is 10,000% Delta Burke on Designing Women. Or um, who was the other one I thought it looked like? Um, even like Dynasty. I could see it like either character. Alexis, or what's her face? Um, she was just in American Horror Show. Um, Jackie Collins? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is so gorgeous. And it's wool um, with vegan leather. This is H&M. It's a size large. Y'all know I gotta have my little crochet and lace tops. Three quarter sleeve. Super, super cute. It's kind of a creamy. Okay, now, this is where I knew that me and Victoria from Super Geek were supposed to be friends for life. Sorry, the Fendi bag. Is because um, married life. I'm so sorry, guys. I am medicated. I can't remember. It's Elise. Alicia. Or Alyssa um, from Married Life. You know who you are, girl. She was making fun of my Victoria and her grandpa sweater. But you know what? I love the grandpa sweater too. Look how cute. And it's got like the little patch. It's super soft. This is like a faux suede, but it's like velvet. Going, oh, is that not the most darling thing ever? Oh, and I got it buttoned wrong. See, that makes it even better. Like, old senile grandpa sweater. There we go. My dog is trying to bury something in the carpet. So, I love that. And this is Polo by Ralph Lauren. 100% wool. And it is a size medium. Okay. Almost done. Um, Kate Hill, new with tag. And this is a 2X. Look at the front. How cute is that like skeleton and I think I probably got like 300 pounds of stuff at the last bin so I'm trying to do it just like in single bag things but this was like a bag a big bag and a small bag um boo from Malibu look cute kind of wide leg size 11 nice little juniors pant jeans 
to, what are you doing? My dog's losing his mind. Okay, pashmina, real, pashmina, cashmere, and what is it? Um, Seta, S-E-T-A. So it's 70% cashmere, 30% Seta, which might be, yeah. I don't know. It's really soft. And I got a couple of these, um, and they were in, most of them were in, like, bags. So they were new. You could tell they were all new. I don't remember if I took this one out of the bag or not. Um, but I look for that. Okay, so men's coat. This is a nice um, new tag. And it is pineapple connection, size large. Got like the Sherpa style lining. Cool. Nice basic jacket. Very long. Love that. Um, this is my other Banana Republic. Oh, I think the other one was Ann Taylor. So I got a couple of these. Like they're basically the same style. Um, stretch cotton, size medium, in pink. The other one was Ann Taylor in purple. And then I got like some greens and blues, I think, downstairs. Okay, so this, sadly, I found there is a small so there's a hole here but I'm going to darn that together because you really don't notice it unless you're holding it up to the light and then you can kind of see through there more but these dresses sell for me so fast like I put them up and they're gone within a week but look how pretty that is All the and it's like an ombre dip colors oh what size was that I, I think this is a free size this was um, Shoreline Free Size. So Shoreline's the brand, free size. Kind of like a one size fits most. It's nice, oversized. Okay, so this was my super find at the bins this last time. As I knock everything else on the floor, because apparently that's what uh, Quimby and I do. Quimby is the Grateful Queen. You guys check out her channels. She has one, which is uh, the Grateful Therapist, where she's covering lots of nice mental health, not nice, but she covers a lot of mental health um, questions and issues, things for people to understand more about themselves and others. And then she also has a, the Grateful Queen. The Grateful Queen. I was like trying to think, was it something retail related? No. So, the Grateful Queen, Quimby the Grateful Queen, and the Grateful Therapist. Check out those channels. Lots of great information. She does a lot of unboxings. This, all I saw was the Made in France tag. And I grabbed it and I threw it in my cart. But I'll look at it later. It's a gorgeous, rich velvet. And when I did look at it, Yves Saint Laurent gorgeous Yves Saint Laurent and it does not have a size tag which is probably why no one grabbed it maybe I don't know oh I wonder if it's in the pocket I never checked in the pocket I don't see a size tag my I will be putting measurements but my gas because I tried it on and my giant linebacker shoulders were not going to work in it so I think it's probably like an eight um, but I'll do measurements. This may or may not get listed because it's so cute. It is a macrame with wood, racer back, little tank, long tank, and it has, oh, Country Shore is the brand. And it's got a big giant seahorse on it and it is Country Shore Outfitters. So this is like a southern outdoor brand. Um, it is... Lagasse. So the manufacturer is Lagasse, and then this was made for the Southern Outdoor Outfitters. It's a size small. So just super cute. So that may be staying with me. We will see. Um, a couple more, guys. Okay, so we have ink, new tag. 
size 24, um, it wasn't 20, yeah, 24W. I'm going to tag, I love, uh, I guess somebody, so somebody was going to have it altered because it was pinned where they wanted it hemmed. I did not notice that before, but now I have a giant pen that I need to put somewhere because my luck, it will go through my foot and I'll be in the part that has no feeling and I'll be walking around shoving a pen in my foot and not know it. Um, okay, so, and this is 100% cotton. Two little flapped back button flap pockets on the back. Oh, I'm trying to go fast, guys. Okay, here, I'll give you a little zing to pick things up. Versace. Yes, I found this in the bins. Yes, it has this little thing on it. So I thought it was new without tag. Now it may still be new without tag, just like maybe donated by the store um, because it had a little issue with some makeup. So it looks like somebody did like I do. I used to do like that to wipe my face. So it's got makeup there. And then it, underneath, there's a little bit of a, on the seam, it's kind of pulled. So I'll stitch that up and note it. There's also a stain there. So I got to work on these stains. Um, but still, even like as is, um, comps for similar shirts are like in the, Dude, this actually isn't supposed to be separate. That's supposed to be together. All right. So I'll probably sell for seventy, seventy-five dollars, even altered. Okay. So this is super cute. I'm really bummed out about Versace. It's kind of crazy. Um, this is Olivia Y, I think, uh, Fashions. And it is a size small. But it does have, like, on the back, you can adjust it with that. I love the front, though. It's like little pens. And then the metal hooks onto it. And then you slide it in. So you lock it in. I like that way better than the hooks. And it's a really nicely boned. So it's a nice boned corset. Right. So close, guys. So close. I'm sorry this is so long. My cousin Lee is going to yell at me. You make these things too long. Okay, this has a little stain. That's why I got it up here. And it looks like sunless tanner. So this needs a little cleanup. This is exclusively for you, Lord and Taylor, the American woman. This is 72% silk, 28% nylon. And it is a 2X with the lovely V-neck that I love. Love, love, love. It's a nice weight too. So that's gonna be great for fall and winter. You got some mauve. I love to say mauve. Mauve. So it, mauve, it's kind of like between lilac and pink, I guess is the way to describe it. So American Eagle Outfitters. This is the Super Stretch. It is a size four jegging. Love the little pockets. Super cute, not real long. So this is probably for shorties like me. I love mauve. I forgot to say mauve again. Okay. Okay. So these are men's. Or oh, women's could wear these, I think. Um, and I think it didn't have the size. Was a problem. So this is the collection, 100% cotton. Is what I was trying to find on this one. Um, it is called Encrypted and it is like a really cool distress, as well as the way that it's bleached. You can see all the lines from how they crinkled it up. 
to put it in the bleach dip. Super cool. You've got less distressing on the back than it is on the pocket. I don't think there's any holes in the bottom part, but they got like all those nice crinkle lines from the bleach dip. And the same on this side. Super cool. Um, so I'll have to give measurement on this. I think it's probably going to be a 44 to 48 maybe. Um, and then we have Kinsey. This is a pink. So I guess, okay, this is a size 26 Kinsey jean. 98% um, cotton. Cute little straight rug. And it's not going to be, a, I'm not going to call it a jegging because it's not as stretchy. It doesn't have as much um, spandex as what you would consider a jegging. So it is 98% cotton. Yeah, so this is a more of a jean since it's cotton. Okay, new attack. I don't normally, I, I've literally never gotten this brand. Um, I just don't like Lauren Conrad. It is new attack from Kohl's, uh, size extra small. This is the Roaring Romance in silver gray lace swing top, um, LC Lauren Conrad, extra small. Again, it weighs like nothing and it's new attack. So that's, and I, I do like the baby doll look of it. I just don't personally like Lauren Conrad. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, she was kind of a jerk to my son on a TV show, like a morning show my son was on. Um, and she was a snotty little brat. Okay. So this is H&M Divided, extra small, super cute black sequin mini and last oh no I got one more okay so Neiman Marcus cashmere 100% cashmere size medium button down cardigan beautiful cream and the last one new in package Spanx by Sarah Blakely this is a size E, and size E is, that's like your plus size, and it's going from 190 to 265 pounds, of course, based on your height. Um, in kilograms, that would be 91. Oh, okay, so 89 to 121 kilograms. So super cute, and I love that they're called the high-waisted power panty. And they're all like, yay, power. Power to our panties. All right, so that's all from like a mixture of Ben's trip and some other things, because these are things that I found as I was looking for a missing purse that I sold that I cannot find since the move down into the posh room. Um, I've got a couple more bins to go through, but moving the bins around has really shook me. So Hunter may have to do that. Oh, I just saw another one. New Atag Victoria's Secret. Little toddy. And I love that it has the little flare hips. Super cute. New a tag. And it is a size small. And there's the style number. Info. So, okay. So that is the last of it now. So, like I said, um, that's it. I'm sorry it went so long. I tried to go fast. Hopefully there was enough stuff that was entertaining. Um, also, I got... Um, my son's also a beach body coach and we just got in like every three months, I guess he has to order stuff, but I use this, I get these monthly. Um, it, and he drinks the fruit punch, but I like the lemon 
Um, I don't drink coffee, so this is my Energize. I drink that with my Hydrate, because I live in Florida, you need to hydrate. I mix these with, um, I don't remember the brand. It's like a um, collagen peptides that I get off of Amazon. They do sell collagen on Beachbody, but it's more expensive and it's a lower amount per scoop. So that's why I get my collagen online, but I mix those all together. And that's my like morning get going drink instead of coffee. So if you're interested in anything with Beachbody, please let me know and I'll have my son like set you up. Um, there's usually like specials with new programs coming in. I personally am fixing to use the yoga um, just because I think I need that to stretch out these spasms in my back. Um, but I also like uh, morning meltdown, which I need to get back to. I did do 100 exercises. I didn't do all 100 that they have. I kind of like went back to the beginning um, to redo just because it was getting too stressful on my body. So that's the great thing. They have different levels that you can do. So if you're interested in Beachbody, um, also this top is um, from Club Fit, Club Fitwear. And basically I got this, um, I think I paid, um, it was like a hundred and something dollars and you had six months of being in their ambassador um, program where every month you get a tank top Plus, we were in a group where we, like, um, gave ideas for um, shirts, and quite a few of mine got used. Um, so that's kind of fun that you're getting shirts that you made. And then by being an ambassador club, you also got things that they were trying out. So, like, we got a jacket, we got a hoodie, we got a couple, like, um, tanks, and I think another... I think a long sleeve shirt that were in some other materials that they were trying out. So that was kind of nice that you get some extras like that. And then you also get um, $25 a month to spend in the store. So I have, that's why y'all see me in all these tanks because I get them from Club Fitwear and they're kind of cool. And I love the kettlebell with the skull because it is death, but it's also got cross. It's like a skull and cross weight. And we're still under an hour, so yay on that. Sorry I took so long. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to the people who have been leaving me information about um, the brands and stuff that I have because I am learning this. You know, I've always been kind of like a t-shirt and shorts kind of person, especially with my back. I mean, I've been home over nine years, so I'm dressing all up a lot for that. So I definitely, please feel free to give me any tips, tricks, information. I am not trying to pretend like I know stuff, because I don't. And I am so grateful to this community for how much I have learned from all of you. And just keep it up. Y'all gonna make me cry now, because... This has been just a really great experience for me to be able to have some connection to the outside world after being home out for nine years. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Um, go check out, check out, I don't know if you can see who I'm subscribed to, but please, um, a couple people that I love, 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 Dion Dean, um, Jack Valentine, my girl, Victoria at Super Geek, um, The Murrayed Life. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I think it's Alyssa. I'm sorry, Alyssa, if it's not Alyssa. But Murrayed Life, she is funny as all get out. Love her stuff. Um, the Grateful Queen, The Grateful Therapist, Quimby. Um, today is Friday, so tonight at... I think it's 8 o'clock my time. I think it's 5 o'clock East Coast or West Coast because she's from San Francisco. Um, it's like an open forum. Everybody kind of comes in and talks about different issues um, affecting resellers. So really great. Um, El Duce. Oh, 
amazing to learn from. I have learned so much stuff from her channels. She's now doing a lot of liquidation stuff, so that's really interesting. Um, oh my god, y'all need to look at my subscription thing because, and please let me know if you have a um platform that you're selling on. Please post it down below. Let everybody know on the comments your stores, store names, closet names. Um how we can find you on Instagram, YouTube, all of that, please feel free to leave your information because um, I definitely appreciate so much this community and everything that y'all have done for me. And I definitely want to make sure y'all get the clap back there in a good way because I think clap back is bad. So love you guys. Thank you so much for all the help. I need to go lay down because I am medicated and in lots of pain. Peace.